a family in Kericho is mourning the death of six people who were killed in an inferno that raised down their house on Sunday night. A mother and her three daughters are among those that died in the deadly night fire, as efforts by the neighbours to put out the blaze were unsuccessful. Here's interviews Ruth Samwe with the details. Richard Kirui was overwhelmed with emotions after viewing the body of his loved ones at a St. Vincent Hospital mortuary in Moroni. His wife, Winnie Kirui, and three children, Victory, Abigail, and Natasha, were burnt beyond recognition. Others who also died in the inferno were his sister Beatrice and Gladys Tanui. He was working at a tea factory on the fateful night. Sasa tuka, tuka Nani <laughs> Back at their home in Capquen location, Kipkelion East, an eerie silence filled the air as residents milled around the homestead. Government officials on site comforted the shocked locals. The fire is said to have started at 12 a.m. and efforts by the residents to put it out were futile. Initial reports indicate but the fire was caused by the explosion of a solar battery and fueled by petrol that was stored in the house. Tasa kufika hapa, there is a great challenge in traveling to save the situation. At the same time, as it is raining now, to pass the, rob, uh, the river is a problem. Kunaona shule ni ile, lakini wanafunzi wetu wanabebwa na maji wakati wanajaribu kufika shule ni. Angeweza hata kufikia usaidizi singine kupitia mambo ya rununu ama kupika simu sababu pia e, network coverage ya pande hii iko chini sana kiwango chenye you cannot communicate to another person. Area residents now want the government to open up their roads and boost their network connectivity. Ruth Sarmoi, NTV.